Welcome to this Acumatica tutorial. My name is Zach Mayer, and today we're going to be taking a look at taking snapshots or a backup of our Acumatica environment, and then using that to restore over an existing company, whether that be a test company or any type of environment you may want to override with a backup file. Our first step for taking a snapshot is to put our site into maintenance mode. We do that using the apply update screen, which I can find using universal search, or I can navigate to the system management module or workspace and find apply updates in the system maintenance category. When I go to that apply update screen, I'm going to see a button at the top that says schedule lockout. When I click on that button, I'm going to get a pop-up window and it will default to the current time and date to immediately lock the site out and begin maintenance mode. I could also schedule maintenance mode to begin at a future date or time using my options here, as well as give the reason that we are scheduling a lockout. Whatever reason I put in this field will display on the login screen to let users know that maintenance mode is currently enabled and they are currently unable to log in due to this reason listed here. Your default will be maintenance and admins can log in during the lockout. Any other user that is not an admin will be prevented. We're going to lock out all sites using this checkbox here and click OK. Because I did not schedule this lockout for the future, maintenance mode has now currently been enabled and I can see that with the stop lockout button now available at the top of the screen. We're now going to move over to the tenant screen, which I can again find in universal search or the system management workspace, again in the system maintenance category. And the tenant screen is where we can actually take and restore the, the snapshot files that we create. When we come to this screen, I see the current tenant I am logged into, which in my demo environment is tenant 18. And from here, I could also select any other tenant on my URL. I want to take a snapshot of the current company I'm logged into, so I'm going to leave that as tenant 18 and click the Create Snapshot button at the top. When I click this Create Snapshot button, I'm going to be prompted with a pop-up window that confirms which tenant I am taking my backup of. In this case, we do want to take it as tenant 18, so that is correct. And then we can give it a brief description of what we want this snapshot to be called. That could be the data that's included or what we're using the snapshot for. So the snapshot I had created prior to filming this, I called it Snapshot for Test. So I know I'm going to use this for a test environment. We're then going to pick our export mode. That export mode tells the file what's going to be included. The first and default option being a full snapshot. All data will be included in your backup, including your attachments, your transactional data, your master data, your preferences. Everything comes over in that backup file. Of course, the more data you include in that file, the larger the file size will be. So if you have a lot of attachments or images on your site and you want to exclude those from your backup, you could do a full accept attachments or full accept attachments and any wiki pages just to bring that file size down a bit. If you do not want all of the data, you don't want a full backup, your next option is settings and business accounts. That would include all of your configuration and preferences, your inventory data, as well as business accounts being your customers and your vendors. If we want to include or exclude attachments, those are both options at the settings and business account level. And then our third and final category would be settings only. That does not include your business accounts, examples being customers and vendors. It would only include your preferences, configuration, and your inventory data. Again, with the option to include or exclude your attachments. Once you pick what data you would like to include in your snapshot file, we then have the option to prepare for export with this check mark here. What that's doing is while it's creating the snapshot, it will also immediately prepare your file for download in either a binary or XML format, just to save you one extra step. If you do not select that, you're not going to, you're not planning on downloading the file immediately. You will always have that ability, of course, to prepare for export in the future by selecting the snapshot you want to prepare and then selecting your format in the drop-down list. Once your snapshot file has been created and it has been prepared for export, you're going to see it marked as ready for export in this column here, letting you know the size of the file. 
and you'll be able to download it using the export snapshot button. Once you have completed downloading your file, it will be saved to your local computer and ready to upload and restore on a different tenant. I could do that by logging into the respective tenant I'm trying to override, whether that be on the same URL or a different URL, or I could select if it's a different tenant on this site, on this URL, from the drop-down list here as well. Once I have selected the tenant that I plan on overriding, I would import the snapshot using this import snapshot button here. I would then browse for the file that I had previously downloaded and upload that snapshot to my tenant screen. Once it has been uploaded, I would see it displayed on this list here. I would select that snapshot file and I can click the restore snapshot button. It will again confirm that I am overriding this destination tenant with this description of the snapshot file to make sure I'm restoring the proper data in the proper place. Once the snapshot has been restored and the data has been overwritten, the site will restart and all of that data from the snapshot file will immediately be ready to use in that tenant environment. One other important step to not forget during this process is to end your lockout session and turn off maintenance mode. Maintenance mode only needs to be enabled during the creation of the snapshot, so you could disable it before or after restoring by going back to your apply update screen and clicking the stop lockout button. We don't want to forget that step since any of your users will not be able to use your site while that maintenance mode is enabled. Once you've disabled maintenance mode, you have restored your snapshot and the site has restarted, you're ready to use that environment with the overwritten data. If you have any other questions regarding anything around snapshots or broader Acumatica as a whole, don't hesitate to reach out to the mayor group and we'll be happy to answer those questions. That wraps up how we take our snapshots and restore them in Acumatica, but don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials on Acumatica. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial.